Basketball to me is one of the most important things in my life. And it's just a matter of going out there and proving myself. I want to be the greatest player to ever play the game. I think that's a really important time right now to really believe in yourself, and I do. Summer League, this is the this is the chance for some of these, you know, fringe guys that are really, you know, these guys were all great college players that really want to play here in the NBA. That's why it's so competitive. I mean, these guys know what it's like to not have that fat paycheck. So that's what they want, and uh, and they and they want to be here and showcase themselves. These next nine days are so important. I'm against the ropes. It's the first time in my life that I don't know exactly where I'll be playing in a month. But you win the national championship, and then. Really, I took one or two weeks off, and then it's right back to work. Coming out of high school, I didn't get any scholarship offers. I actually couldn't even get some D3 teams to look at me. A lot of the stuff I'm hearing now, I heard in high school, you know? He's not super athletic, he can't score against bigger guys. Not a freak athlete, played in the Ivy League, small school, small conference, and, and so, you know, I'm back in the same position again, and, and it's just a matter of going out there and proving myself. Summer League's important on a, on a variety of levels for us. You know, how our first round pick is going to be. Are they going to be able to perform in an NBA game? John's playing like he's got to prove himself. I mean, you know, in his mind, I think he does. I feel like a rookie, yeah. At times, you know, I'm still learning the basketball aspects, you know. Off the court, I feel like I'm a veteran with a lot of interviews and meeting a lot of people and uh, the fans, but on the court, I can feel I'm a rookie. These other guys that are really trying to make the team, um, they're really playing hard. It's an opportunity for us to evaluate and look at players that maybe weren't selected in the draft. Went through 60 guys that got drafted, I didn't. Um, you know, I watched it with my family. My family was pretty upset, but uh, it was one of those deals where, I mean, that's kind of my whole life. By the time the second round got around, I was throwing things. And uh, as much as I would love to be relaxed, it's uh, it's your life and other people's control. Roddy, get in. Roddy, get in. Go yeah, play hard, though. Let's go. You know, I'm just gonna let the actions on the court take care of stuff. You know, this is a chance where you get to play against people who are drafted every single night. Two nights ago, I went against a guy who was drafted lottery pick. Tonight, I'm going against a guy who was drafted. So it's whenever I get a chance, I gotta whoop up on these guys and kind of prove a point. This is the best opportunity to, you know, prove to all the other teams that you deserve to have that contract. As long as I play as hard as I can play every minute, I'm not worried about how it ends, you know, because it's kind of out of my control. I've had many um, challenges in my basketball career where I um, have gone through ups and downs, so I know how to stay confident in myself. For an undrafted player, Summer League is everything. You know, leading up to the draft, the pre-draft workouts, it's, it's trying to make the team, it's basically it's trying to get drafted. Well, if you don't get drafted, this is the big audition. Dollars in high school, dollars in college. My biggest fear. I want to be successful there. Hard work and dedication. NBA contract. Ready to go get it. Keep getting better, making things better for me, for my family, and my mom. Ever since I was young, I started playing. I have pictures of me as a little baby. You know, the, the basketball is literally three times bigger than my head, and I'm holding it, you know, with both my hands. You know, I had a little tight suit my dad bought for Christmas one year and put it up in our living room. And ever since then, I've always loved to play the game. It's a family tradition. My grandpa played in the NBA many years ago. My uncle played it at Oregon and, and so on and so forth. I had a lot of uncles and cousins that played professional level. I've always wanted to play basketball and always wanted to be a part of this tradition that my family's built and that uh, you know I hope to carry on. Playing in the NBA Summer League is an opportunity of a lifetime. Every single NBA team is here watching. Here you go. Look, fly. Look, athletic. Everything that you do, every game that you play um, has consequences. Most games I play in, I have nerves right before the game. Um, and that always makes you feel good because you know it means something to you. Just like your game don't get better and one day it's gonna take time, so I gotta be willing to put in the work. 80% of the work is from him. You know, if he doesn't do it, he doesn't get better. You know, he doesn't feel better. If he does it, he will. Preparing is, is the most important thing you can do. Preparation has a lot to do with uh, feeling confident on the court. When I'm on the court, I like to do things the right way and to finish drills, so when it comes down to making 50 free throws in a row or whatever that number is and you miss 49, I'm gonna stay there until I get 50. 
along with preparing is what you put in your body. That's why drinks like Gatorade are so important and healthy foods, low fat. By the time that game comes around, you know you're in position to be successful. There's a ton of caffeinated drinks out there that, that aren't good for you, but they think, well, I need that energy to kind of get me jump started, and they end up crashing during the workout. In between the last Give me two more good ones. Losing the 60 pounds, I learned a lot about my body and took some classes on it. They're responsible a lot for their own preparation. We try to help them out, you know, we, we put good things around them and, and try to and influence them that way. If they can take a, a product like in the G Series, the Prime, that has carbohydrates and B vitamins, you know, that, that jump starts them for the activity and, you know, you take that 15, 30 minutes before workout and they're ready to go. Summer League, these guys go from zero to 100 in a week. It's hard on them, and when he's done, he'll take a little bit of a break after this, and then he'll come back and start working again all the way up through September. Preparation is, you know, the, the biggest thing in terms of um, having a good performance. My preparation is done throughout the year and uh, throughout the week, and so when it comes time for the game, I just try to stay hydrated and stay relaxed. You know, that's really all I'm doing. Physically, I get a good night's rest the night before. Try to get up, get a workout, get a sweat. Mentally, you have to prepare the right way. You know, I wouldn't suggest to anybody before a workout or before, especially before a game, to be out having a bunch of fun and hanging out with your friends. What you actually do on the court is just what has happened because of how you have prepared. It's not, there's nothing else. So, you know, a lot of guys don't realize that, but they go hand in hand, and that's why some guys don't have success. And you see in the fourth quarter, some guys are getting beasted by me because they didn't prepare the right way. I was outside the circle. Oh, I'm a fat guy trying to take a charge. You gotta hook me up. Sometimes you just gotta kick in that next gear and find a way to dig deep. You know, you'll be tired, hurt, whatever it may be. I like to call myself the beast because I'll always fight through that stuff. Everyone who goes undrafted, you know, feels like they have to prove themselves because they do, and they're not gonna necessarily get the benefit of the doubt that someone uh, who got drafted will have. For those minutes, those, you know, whatever, 40 plus minutes, it's just me versus that other guy, and that's what I live for. Your attitude uh, has to be that you're the best player on the court, and to just, you know, take it at the throat of your opponent. Good take, baby. John Shire has just given Miami a two point lead after they trailed the entire second half. You know, since I've been a little kid, I've had, you know, role models I've looked up to, great players. I had great high school players, and the one thing that stood out to me is how competitive they were. And that's something that was just in me as a little kid. When I'm on the court, I like to do things the right way. John's been a pleasant surprise. You have to be able to fit into the system, uh, whatever team you're playing for. And, uh, he's smart enough to figure that out. The first workout I had in Miami, um, I felt really dehydrated and you know, it was close to, the trainer had to come over to me. So after that, I actually had a Gatorade and it was good to go the rest of the time. Dehydration is, um, you know, a strong word killer, but it can kill your game. Throughout the game, I'll probably drink two or three bottles of Gatorade. And uh, it's just very important because it keeps you high energy and it keeps you fueled and it gives you your second win. I've always been a big believer in that. I can't just drink water during a game. Like, especially if you're playing hard, the way you're supposed to be playing, the way I play, you can't just get through on water. You need to put something in your body. Even when I was at Kentucky, you see I got cramps in a couple of games, so. I had to start eating more, drinking more waters, and uh, during the games, I drink uh, electrolytes in my Gatorades. John Wall, good solid move, looks pretty strong. This kid wants to really win. It's gonna take a lot of hard work and dedication, you know, if people are taking breaks, I try to stay in the gym as much as I can. My first game was better than my second game. I've been very impressed with Lynn. There's no question he's going to be playing basketball for somebody. I've been very aggressive out on the floor, and, and I've been playing hard and playing defense. Everybody you guard is a great player. You need to be ready to defend. People always say you're only as good as your last game. You need to be ready to be strong with the ball. I'm on the chopping block. I'm against the ropes. All I can control is going down there and play the best I can. As long as I play as hard as I can play every minute, I'm not worried about how it ends. Good job.
job. Good job. Unbelievable journey, and now this is it. You know, throughout your career, you play how many ever games I played, hundreds of semi games, and uh, you put pressure on yourself, and you're not thinking about how people view you as much. You're just thinking about winning. A lot of it has to do with how good other people think I am. You know, what they see through their eyes. All I can do is beat up on these guys every night and prove a point. You know, I'm trying to play my game and I'm trying to, you know, follow my journey and my path and, and hopefully I can be an inspiration to others. But at the same time, I can't sit down right now and be complacent or think I've, I've done everything that I want to accomplish because I haven't. Well, this is eye-opening. When you have a skill, NBA skill, you know, you got a shot. Uh, we've had a lot of guys line up on our wall uh, at the beginning of summer training camp. These guys came in as undrafted rookies, uh, made an impression, and, uh, you know, we look for those kind of guys. During the course of a season, we, we do a lot of work on some pre-existing things or what we think some deficiencies of theirs might be. Uh, with us playing and practicing every day here in a, in a 12 day span, we don't do as much of that. It's more treating acute injuries that they have now, you know, little bumps and bruises that they may get. You can't just look at it, I'm done with the game, now my job is over. It's a continuous process. So after I play the game, um, I'm gonna make sure I eat and drink a lot because um, it takes a lot out of you. On this level, you really have to make sure you get rest when you get on the road. Like sometimes you might get into a city at 2.30, 3 o'clock, and you have to wake up for shoot around at 9 or 10. So the key thing is getting as much rest as you can, especially when you're in Vegas. You got to make sure you get a lot of water and Gatorades. The recovery drink is really important. It's available for them after the games. We have back-to-backs in the NBA Summer League. And so right after your first game, you have to start getting ready for your second game. Protein's huge because it helps rebuild your muscles. And, you know, Gatorade's done a great job putting protein in a sports drink. The carbohydrates and protein interact in a way that it refuels them. Recover in the past used to be like, you know, people used to think, you know, just get a good night's sleep, you know, get some ice on your knees after the game, you'll be ready to go. But we're learning that, you know, there's such a breakdown of their body throughout these intensely difficult physical contests that they need they need more nutrition in a very specific time frame after the game. Gatorade has been extremely important for us, and we know it works because the guys tell us it does, and they come back for it over and over and over again. A lot of people always ask me, what are you gonna do if basketball it doesn't work out? I'm just trying to stay humble and stay hungry and, and to go after my dream. I'll definitely miss the Bay Area and some new challenges come in by new areas, you know, um, I look forward to kind of seeing something new. My best hope is to be with the Miami Heat, be with the team that wants me. And then from there, prove yourself on that team. I just know I want to be an all-star. I want to have my team in the playoffs have an opportunity to win the championship. And basically, I can't control all that or winning the games and stuff, but I can go in and do as much as I can to try to help them and build.